In this video, I'll be helping you with the math topic called classifying real numbers as seen here in the OpenStax College Algebra 2nd Edition text. Here we're asked to classify each of these numbers as either positive or negative, and then rational or irrational, and then either left or right of zero on the number line. For A, we have negative 10 over 3, so this is negative. And since we could write it as an integer over an integer, say negative 10 over 3, then it is also rational. And then as far as which side of 0 it's on on the number line, since it's negative, it will be left of 0. Our next example is the square root of 5. For this, there is no negative sign, so this would be positive. Since it has a radical that can't be simplified, the square root of negative 5 is irrational, and since it's positive, it would be to the right of 0 on the number line. Moving on to C, we have negative square root of 289. However, the square root of 289 is just 17, so we can simplify this to be negative 17, and if we were to classify that, then it is negative. Negative 17 could be written as negative 17 over 1, so it's rational, and since it's negative, it would be to the left of 0. For d, we have negative 6 pi, so this is negative. Since it has pi as a part of it, this will be irrational. Any expression that includes pi will be irrational, and again, since it's negative, it would be to the left of 0. Our next example is given here for e. Since there is no negative, this is positive. To determine if it's rational or irrational, I need to see if these decimals are repeating, and I can see that the 615384 repeats as 615384, meaning that this is a repeating decimal, so it will be rational, and as a positive number, it will be to the right of zero.